Welcome to Worms and Warriors. I just wanted to do a really quick video here, just a quick update on what's going on with Grand Tactician. Um, another update has come through. We'll, we'll go to the actual to the actual community discussion page. Of course, I should have had this set up ready to go, but I didn't, uh, as per usual. Okay, so here we are. This is the discussion page. So we're going to go to the development patches. Uh, and I just wanted to quickly pick this up. So we've just had 1.0905, so like the fifth update in the 1.09 beta. This is still a beta patch, which they're working on for the next one. And I thought this was an interesting one, okay? This is something that has been really bugging me lately. And actually, this was updated in 1.904, but I must have missed it. Uh, AI moves farther to supply depots if supply is low and constructs depots less often. So they're going to have fewer supply depots. Previously, in the past, when the AI army stopped or core stopped, they would pretty much immediately start constructing an a supply depot didn't seem to matter where they were, be that up in Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, or if they're down in Mississippi, they would construct one there. Wherever the hell it is, wherever the army happened to stop, they would then construct a supply depot nine times out of ten, 9.9 .9 times out of ten probably, actually. And personally, I thought that was really, really annoying <laughs> and uh, something that, that, that really bugged me, actually, about the game. You could always see where the AI armies had stopped. You knew... For a fact that they wouldn't move then for what 10 14 days whatever it takes to construct the depot i can't actually remember the exact days but uh so something like that so you knew that that army or core was then not going to move for at least at least 10 days so you had some time to recover you had time to move armies around whatever it was you needed to do you knew that that ai force wouldn't be moving because they'll be built, constructing the depot basically uh and the next point here 1.905 AI recruits less cavalry brigades and tries to concentrate in separate cavalry divisions. That's another good one. With this latest update from sort of 1.08 onwards, the AI's been recruiting quite a lot more cavalry, which is good. However, the cavalry's acting very uh, strangely aggressive in 1.09, so they will always pretty much try to charge your artillery, even if they're dug in with infantry and support and stuff like that, they, they will always charge and I find that annoying as well but maybe this will help fix things a little bit that would be nice if it does something else they fixed here is in 1.0903 city sizes change when new states are created so for example, when West Virginia is created uh, I think it's Wheeling is it Wheeling? That changes from like a 4 city to a 1 maybe, or oh, something it changes size anyway and it's not good but it looks like that's pretty much it for 1.09 or 5. Oh, no, this one here as well. Look, this is... I, I was meant to mention this one. I don't know why it, I didn't see that between the two. <laughs> but uh, fixed issues that led to low probability of AI picking projects. So now the AI is going to use projects more efficiently, or so they say. We'll see how that goes. Um, hopefully, it'll be fine. But I'm glad to see that there's still more and more updates coming into this game. I, I find it strange that this game's in official full release when really it's it's still early access really because these things are all things that should have been fixed initially but i mean that's that's another thing another another point i mean i suppose it makes no difference if it's saying it's early access or not but it's a bit rich calling it the full release and since the full release they've released what uh four four new updates now but i suppose that's just the way gaming works these days but anyway the things that they have fixed like in one zero five six seven eight nine are things that we're pretty basic as far as I'm concerned. But yeah, we can see they've obviously been working on things to do with the supply depot situation here. Like one of the first fixes they did in 1.09 was AI only leaves one group unit behind to construct the supply depot instead of all in range. So previously they would leave all their core. So say there was three core who had retreated from, I don't know, Manassas to Alexandria or whatever, they would then stay there and build a depot and all of them would be stuck there until that depot was built. So they are working on it and that's good. And I hope they continue to work at it and make the game even better. That that, that would be really nice. Um, uh, on a little side note here, we've got a vote going over at the YouTube channel uh, for the next campaign to start. And at the moment, as it stands, just about, we're neck and neck with a new CSA 1861 campaign and CSA 1864 campaign for the next one. So if you've got an opinion on that, why not head on over to that Worms and Warriors channel and click on the community tab and vote for whichever one you want to see next, if you haven't done so already. Anyway, that's it for today. I just wanted to drop this really quick little update that I'm quite excited about. I'm, I'm pleased that they're fixing this 
uh, supply depot thing. The supply depot thing has really been bothering me. So if you watched my previous, if you watched my uh, videos recently, then you know you know I'll, it's one of the many things that I complain about when I'm playing the supply depot thing. But hopefully that's going to be gone now. I'll probably be firing the game up just now. It's not even eight a.m. here, and I've kind of I try to get me recording of the series done in the mornings before I start work and usually I start work very early not this morning though the the mail here are on strike so there's no real rush to get our orders out until next Monday but anyway so uh, I'm going to do some recording before I do some work so whatever you're doing have a great day if you're new to this channel if you just stumbled across this video why not check out the playlists we've got going on we play Grand Tactician on here Ultimate General a couple of other games um See if you like it, and if you do, why not subscribe? I'll catch you later.